Okay. Once again, I woke up a little earlier for a couple of lessons with my Tramia teachers here at, here at the Chantry, and I must say they're really effective at what they do. I can already feel my blood getting stronger within me, and actually, I'm going to disregard hunting entirely before I go to that uh, hunter monastery, and I'm just going to feed on them instead. They have no idea who they are, with, who they are dealing with. The, one of the things the Tremere taught me lately is I can literally steal blood out of people's bodies from a distance and it will flow from them straight into my mouth. Now that's kind of disgusting, but also really awesome. So I can't wait to see how is that going to perform. I'm well stocked in ammunition, so... So I'll just uh, have a, an excuse to uh, test my newfound discipline abilities. And uh, it's reasonable to assume my character could get a little cocky with all that power Going somewhere. In, his in his hands. Just you wait, hunters. I'm going to freaking destroy you. Yeah, there is the monastery. No idea. Well, guess it's a great time to test that blood commanding ability I just recently learned. So, go, go, gadget, blood powers, or something. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. That's freaking right. Oh, you have no idea. Who are you dealing with? It. Ah, man. Ah, <laughs> fuckers. Have no idea who are you messing with. Any more of you? Man, I love that power. It's a little weird, but. Hey, you there. Okay, there's a couple of them on the rooftops as well. Better take him, he seems to have some kind of a rifle. Fuck, I need... I think I need to... for Lacroix's minions working out for you. Not that great, is it? <laughs> mm. 
Man, I feel like a friggin' god. I don't even need to close in to feed on them, I can just command their own blood to flow straight into my friggin' <laughs> Come on! Bring it on! Any more of you? I'm waiting! There's someone on the hill up there. How do I... Get up there. Okay, that certainly doesn't look safe. Oh, fuck. Man, I'm all almost sorry for you guys. Almost. Not quite. You started it with a whole back guy who tried to kill me a while ago. or something. <laughs> mm. Say what you want about the Tremere, but they surely know how to waste people. Okay. In I go. How did he not hear that? How did they... I'm pretty certain at least some of them must be like disabled, deaf and blind. <laughs> they have no idea. No idea. Okay. So... Just... Give me your blood. Come on! Oh, there's like shells there. Well... Your fault for storing explosives in an unsafe way. Any more of you? <laughs> Come on! Prep plenty of lead for everyone. <laughs> Fuckers. Come on, any more of you? I'm here waiting. Okay, better not. Anyone? them. Almost. Better not cross that. The stupid fuckers left a control laptop here, so... <laughs> Man, they are, like, remarkable. On one hand, they are remarkably brave, but on the other, 
They're also remarkably stupid. Anything worthwhile here? No, just uh, Bible and whatever. Like it's a it's a fascinating combination, really. On one hand, they are not afraid to face the immortal creatures of the night, but on the other, they do it in such a stupid way that you almost think they want to die. Anything? Just more guns. Mm, okay, I'll check the... Okay, this leads higher up. First I will... Okay, I heard someone. Check this room. Man, that is remarkably stupid. Just to leave it. And they, they didn't even have a password on it. I'm not sure what they were thinking, but... Oh well. Anything here except for... Copious amounts of ammunition. Oh, it's like a journal, isn't it? So let's see what they have been up to. JB. Hmm, so that's probably Grunfeld back, isn't it? The guy I met back at the Krauts mansion. Track like right to Los Angeles. Uh. An ancient evil is staring. Now I wonder, do they somehow sense? Maybe there is some truth to that whole antediluvian thing because Beckett said that some of them even though most of them are, ju are just you know regular people some of them apparently wield strange powers although I guess if you're a guy like this Grunfeld Bact and you are sensing ancient evil staring everywhere so it might not count for much oh so they've been fighting Grout even before And they know about the Ankara sarcophagus. Well, obviously, obviously they must know because they've taken Johansson for the exact reason that they that they knew I'd come looking for him. Okay, found Grout. So it was not him who killed Grout. <laughs> to care of the demon, if only. So he's receiving his orders straight from the Pope? That's interesting. I didn't expect they'd be so highly connected. Okay, Tok Johansson. Uh, Lacroix will try to find him, obviously. <laughs> They've been warned, but apparently not enough. Well, I'm coming, so I hope they are prepared. One of us should take some food down to the prisoner. Johansson? He is 
is no better than they. If not for his meddlesome diggings, the artifact would never have come here. Yes, it is complicated matters. An interesting turn of events. What do you think it holds? How did Something? they... I care not. If it does, then with God's help, we will send it screaming back. How did they not hear the whole me killing their brothers downstairs? The brother killed them. Hmm. If this be the end of days, then may the Lord give us strength to see them through. Oh. So, shall we take some food down to Johansson? Here, take mine. I am no longer hungry. So they think Cain himself is inside the sarcophagus. That's interesting. But they also, like, I'm convinced they must be partially retarded you couldn't it, it isn't possible for them not to hear i just slaughtered a bunch of their colleagues and i'm not even using a silencer good evening you're all going to die nice to meet you to the basement. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Seems to be an old uh, illustration of the sarcophagus and that... Hmm. Is that supposed to be Cain and Abel again? So maybe there is a connection. I can't exactly read any of that, but it's interesting nonetheless. The manuscript seems, seems to be really old. How about this? An occult book of some sort. Vampire Apocrypha. Hmm. So, discovered in early Middle Ages. Well, maybe not early, like actually in the middle Middle Ages. Uh, near Ankara. Hmm. That's interesting because that's exactly where the sarcophagus itself has been found. Wait, so this Julius of Gaul first did he it seems he discovered the sarcophagus the sarcophagus a thousand years ago and then decided to rebury it. Never been opened. Yeah, they were probably afraid even back then. An ancient king. Nefarious and dread thing of ancient and unnameable evil but I, I guess like it was a thousand years ago in the middle ages so similarly to Bax's uh, outlook now they they were seeing undeniable ancient evil everywhere so I wouldn't put much uh, put, put, put much thought into it although I must admit the last story about his crime dying shortly after setting eyes on the sarcophagus is interesting, but I guess it's a coincidence. After all, a lot of people, mm, not only vampires, because one might assume it doesn't work on us, but a lot of humans has, have laid, a, laid eyes on this sarcophagus uh, since it was uncovered um, in Ankara in the modern, ti modern times, and they didn't die or anything. Like Johansson among them, he seems to be pretty alright for the time being, or at least I totally hope so, where they, were t where they were talking about bringing some food to him, so I guess that's proof enough that he, he must be fine. 
so I should probably head downstairs to the basement as well. Another one of those. <laughs> really? Man, I can't. How can you be so stupid, like... Man... Anyone here? Okay, I can hear some downstairs. <laughs> but to be honest, at this point... I don't think there's anything... I can do to threaten me. playing with children. Okay, it works for now. Hmm. No obvious way forward. So I guess there must be like a secret passage or something. Oh! Oh, there is a way forward through here, so I just need to take care of this barrel. Yeah. hope they've spoken their prayers. Like they're really preparing for a war. I probably should be careful around those one stray bullet and it can blow me all to well final death. in here. I wonder if they have any prisoners. Maybe Johansson himself is... Wait, there is... There is someone in there. What the? Ash? Ash! What did they do to you, Ash? Are you alright? Listen, I... I'm going to get you out. Just keep your voice down for a moment, although, to be entirely honest, if they didn't hear me slaughtering the rest of their brethren, they're probably not going to care. Anyway, I'll get you out. Talks about me. Again, and again, and again, their 
guys, they, they enjoy it. Before they come back, I beg you, let me out. Yeah, as I said, I, I, I will look for a way to do it. Just, just wait, maybe I can pick the lock. They always come back. It always burns. Listen, just calm down, I, I'll be back. Man, those fanatics did to him, they, they branded him. Okay, I'll see if I can open the lock. Damn it, damn it, Ash, listen, listen. It's too hard for me, but I will look for the key and I'll be back. You just, you just sit him tight there. Anyone else here? Okay, that, that story about how they branded him and, and enjoyed it actually makes me feel a little less conflicted about slaughtering them all. Well, it's us or them at this point, I guess. Bring it on! This is quite impressive, actually. Too cocky. Although I admit it's a little difficult not to with all the power I've got at my disposal now. <laughs> oh. Probably so should uh, search the bodies for a Oh, speak of the devil. There's the key. Hmm, and this boat might actually be useful later on for uh, making my way out when I've got the professor. Yeah, we only need to open that gate. Oh wait, this is the, the entrance. prison. Okay, hang in there, I've got the key. Thanks. You 
you'll never see me again. I'm gonna go somewhere no one will ever see this face again. Yeah, you do that. I'm sorry about what happened to you, but I guess it's better than final death. Goodbye, Ash, and good luck. Man, that guy. He really isn't the most lucky person in the world, is he? Well, so not now to find your Hansen. And I wonder if Back is here as well. Wait, I stumbled across the entrance again. It's remarkable how I can get lost even in three simple tunnels. And by remarkable I mean remarkably stupid, but still. Oh fuck! Well, you missed, asshole. I knew your husband would do us a service to save me, but I set this out for the art thief himself. Where is Lacroix? <laughs> Lacroix? You really think Lacroix would come here alone? I have spent Lacroix runs out of minions. He will show me his face, and God will guide my shots through it. Before I send you to eternal damnation, any last words? Well, if the if your brethren could tell you what I did to them, you perhaps wouldn't consider opposing me, but they're dead now, and so will you in just a moment. So bring it on. Hmm. Actually, I might give that rifle a try. It has a scope after all. Oh fuck. Yeah, it's not that difficult to use. Should be okay. And the scope is really useful. Although man, he seems unreasonably resilient for just a plain mortal. I wonder if he's like wearing a vest or something? And even then, it seems really powerful. Loading, huh?
Hey, you're starting to piss me off. Why don't you just... Man, I should really... Duck behind some cover. Fuck. Um, this well seems to be... A good place to hide. Starting to run an ammo for that as well. Fuck. Just die. Fuck. Okay. Not sure if the pistol will be useful at such long range, so how about this rifle here, although it doesn't have a scope. Well, I'll give it a try. Just wait for him to... Fuck, I missed. Ha <laughs> Yeah! It serves you right. <sighs> okay. Still should some have some ammo for the Lock. What the? <laughs> what the hell? That's almost cute. Little Draculas and werewolves. And they've got moving ones as well. <laughs> okay, enough uh, fun. Should really get on moving before any reinforcements arrive. Uh, I'll be taking that. And hmm. I'll drop the unscoped one. If only because uh, his model seems to be a lot more valuable. So, but actually, before I go inside, how's my... Oh yeah! I'm... Kind of tempted to do that. Yeah, who knows what... Uh, lays uh, ahead. So, cheers. Yeah. Anyone? Anyone here? Johansen? Professor Johansen? Oh, I guess that's him. In the bathroom. No, 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 I told you everything. There's no reason for you to keep me here. Let me go. Uh, you're Dr. Johansson, I presume. I am an archaeologist. You can't hold me here like this. I am a hostage. I do not need protection. Bring me back to my hotel at once. There's a boat uh, not far from here. Uh, help me answer a couple of questions I've got and I'll help you escape. As you probably guessed by now, I'm not exactly part of the organization that your captors are in. Yeah, yeah, okay, anything. Just get me out of these caverns and away from these crazies. I think I'm starting to get pneumonia. <coughs> well, so you can start by telling me what you know about the Ankaran sarcophagus. The sarcophagus? You went through all that trouble for the sarcophagus? Yeah, I'll tell you, but... Don't you think it would be better to get out of here before those men come back? Mm, don't worry about them. I've dealt with them. They won't give us any problems anymore. I guess if you can get all the way here, you deserve the answers. But can I make one request first? After I answer your questions, you help me escape. Obviously. All right. Where should I begin? 
So, what can you tell me about this sarcophagus? I am very much interested in its history and how you came to find it. Let's start with the history of the Ankaran sarcophagus. That is a long and interesting legend, lost and found throughout the ages. Tell me, are you familiar with the Assyrians? Uh, roughly. They were uh, an ancient civilization near, like, Mesopotamian region, right? But you can give me a brief resume. Well, the Assyrians lived in Mesopotamia, a region between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Most of this territory is now modern-day Iraq, Iran, Turkey, and Syria. I see. Go on. They were warmongers, conquerors, a people driven to expand by their kings. Even before the Romans, they migrated their conquered people to the territories to stem revolt. But, uh, I'm afraid I'm getting off the subject. It's actually reasonably interesting. Do go on. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, the markings on the sarcophagus seem to hint that it is from some time between 1050 and 800 BC, which was a period of fierce expansion by the Assyrians. Oddly, for those years, only one king shows up on the historical record. Hmm, that's interesting. While most likely he wiped all evidence of his predecessor's existence or passed the name to his heirs, one monarch, Mesarach, the one-eyed king, is given credit for the territory and achievements of this time. But he would have had to have been over 250 years old, like uh, Dracula or something. Yeah, that's ridiculous, obviously. But what does this have to do with the sarcophagus? I find it hard to believe a sarcophagus with a person as important as Maserat could remain in, oh, what is the word, pristine or intact condition for so many years. But this is who is believed to be contained within. I see. Are you sure about that? An educated guess. Maybe you have not heard. It was stolen from the museum before we had a chance to open it. Usually, we use equipment to carbon date, x-ray, and take air samples before we pry open the lid. I see. And you actually compared uh, this Mesorak to a vampire. Any reason for that? Obviously, I know it's just, you know, myths and legends, but are there any particular stories about him? You know, it is interesting that you ask me that. The goddess on the outside of the sarcophagus was Lamastu. In Assyrian myth, Lamastu was an evil demoness who preyed on humans. Mm. Many people cite her as the mother of vampire myth. And, and? The engravings on and found around the sarcophagus portray a regal figure drinking the blood of his enemies. Now, this image is found in many cultures, specifically among those of royal lineage. But there is a quite scientific explanation. Which is what exactly? A disorder known as porphyria. In short, it is caused by a deficiency of the iron in the blood. And in many cultures, for the nobility that could conceivably get away with the cure, the treatment was to drink human blood. Oh. So, there are records of that Mesorak drinking human blood, then. Do you think he had it? Perhaps. Drinking the blood of your enemies is, if nothing else, symbolic. It can inspire fear in your foes and dissidents. Don't misunderstand me. I in no way believe it was a vampire. Vampires. That's what caused this whole mess. These maniacs believe they exist. Yeah, that's obviously ridiculous. Uh, but as you yourself noticed, those people weren't exactly, you know, uh, fully after in the head region. Uh, so, how did you find the Ankara sarcophagus? Because you yourself uh, said that it remained in a quite pristine condition 
throughout the years and now you just suddenly found it? Uh, that is, you see, in archaeology, one can spend years looking for a dig site, following local rumors, studying old maps. It's a complicated process, very boring. No, no, I am very much interested. Please go on. Finding and organizing a dig is the least interesting part of an archaeologist's job. Trust me, you don't want to hear about it. But I do want to hear about it, and you're very much sounding like you're hiding something. Care to share it? I don't know what would make you believe that. I have been very forthcoming with you so far. I <laughs> think that maybe you are not as familiar with the process as me. Yeah, as I said, it's a little strange like you just found it after all this time uh, with it remaining uh, hidden and now you're acting awfully weird, Professor, so anything you want to tell me about that? Okay, I'll tell you. Yeah, I was not even aware of the sarcophagus existence until I received a package with no reply address in the mail. Inside was the information on how to find it and the key. Oh. Please keep it a secret or I could be ruined. I be oh, believe me, I will. But uh, can we get back to that Mesera King that is supposedly inside the sarcophagus? Anything more to say about that? That I can't be sure of, nor can anyone. But I promise you, it is more likely to be filled with uh, gummy bears than vampires. <laughs> Obviously. Perhaps maybe a mummy, but not likely the kind to go about chasing Abbott and Costello. I see. Now, have you heard anything else about vampires when you were being held here? Now, obviously, those guys are crazy, but were they talking about anything in particular? Not much, really. I'm an archaeologist, not a mythologist. But I do know that Lamastu, the Assyrian demoness, was thought to have been the inspiration for Lilith, the first wife of Adam in the Jewish Old Testament, another source of the vampire myth. Oh, I actually never heard about Lilith being Adam's first wife. That's interesting. So, you mentioned a key. So, how does one get the sarcophagus open exactly? Ah, oh, quite interesting. There is a surprisingly complex mechanical lock on the face of the sarcophagus. By sheer luck, we were able to find the key not far from the sarcophagus. <laughs> or at least no that's the official it. story, right? It's perplexing. Yeah, surely perplexing. The key, do you have it here with you? How strange you would ask. I haven't seen the key since it was loaded onto the Elizabeth Dane in Turkey. It was stolen before the sarcophagus even. I am still hopeful that the police find both pieces before the contents can be disturbed. Do you maybe have like a copy of the key or something? No, it's not the kind of key you can copy at the hardware store. It's actually very sophisticated. And I meant to study it at the museum. I've answered all your questions. Do you think now you could please get me out of here? I don't care who you are or why you've had so many questions about the sarcophagus. I just want to leave this place. Surely, as I said, there's a boat nearby. We can escape using it. Just keep close to me. Uh, and behind me, and if there's a firefight or something, just try to find cover and uh, stay low until it's over. Thank you, my friend. I don't know where you came from, but I will never forget this kindness. Mm, speak, speak nothing of it, Professor. You've been of great help. As I said, keep close to me, and if there's a fight, just uh, hide. Oh fuck, back! He's alive! Oh damn it! 
Just run, Professor, run! As quickly as you can! After me! Fuck! It's not far from here! here to blow the whole thing uh, on our heads if we don't escape in time. Just jump into the boat, I'll take care of the driving part. Okay, that was a... That was a close call. Close call. Really close. from the top of the tower excuse me do you know excuse me sir do you know what happened okay there doesn't seem to be any police nearby well better get inside I really hope Chunk is okay oh fuck Officer? Officer Chunk? Oh god! Man! What happened here? Okay, none of them's Chunk. For now. Officer? Anyone here? Hello? Man, there was like a massacre here or something. Hmm, and some SWAT guys in heavy gear. Anyone here? Hello? After Chunk? Oh god, somebody managed to either get in or out the elevator. I guess I'll go back to straight up to the penthouse and see if the prince is still there. Evening, sir. What what happened here? With whom do they think they're dealing? Attack me in my own building! Oh, who, who did... They're desperate. <laughs> They've shown their weakness. A last-ditch attempt to steal the prize. Who who did this? The Sabat. Oh. A pack of shovelheads with cheap pistols was all they could muster. Two got a few stories up, but I took care of them. And my sheriff brought the rest their final death in the lobby. Sabat animals. So... I take it we don't have to worry about the Sabbat anymore. No matter how many times you think you've wiped them out, they always come back. This time their target is the Ankaran sarcophagus. They will not stop until they've feasted on the ancient they believe to be inside. Diabolists. Diabolists? What does that mean exactly? The Sabbat's infamy is in no small part due to their practice of Diablerie. That is, drinking the blood of other kindred. Especially older ones. Oh. Until they are dead. Diablerists gain the power of those they've fed upon. Oh. In the Camarilla, this is an act punishable by death. For the moment, we've manipulated the press into reporting tonight's events as a terrorist attack. Their soldiers may be no danger to me, but their threat to the masquerade is abundant. As my best agent, I'm sure you can guess my course of action. Yeah, you want me to... take care of them, but can't your sheriff do that? He has to remain here in case of further attack, and also to yeah, guard of course. the course. For this emergency, I need someone with your nerve to guarantee success. The support have been a threat to both of us for far too long. <sighs> okay, but I expect something 
worthwhile when I when I return. A mercenary attitude won't get you far in this organization. But if that's what it takes in this situation, agreed. So where I where are they? The Sabbat have made their haven at the Hallibrook Hotel. Wait. Right under our noses here in downtown. Yeah, right. And you didn't kill their leader. The rest will scamper out of the city. This is the last time they ever set foot in Los Angeles. Before you go, Beckett told me you went to the Society of Leopold. Did you find out how my sarcophagus is opened? Yeah, I did. What? What did you find out? Um, there was a missing crate from the Dane, the ship. It contains a key to the sarcophagus. There's like a separate key. A key? Where? Do you have it? No. I told you, that's all I know, but actually, there might be something you could be happy about. I happened to kill back. <laughs> Not only did you infiltrate the Society of Leopold, but you managed to kill their greatest hunter. You certainly are developing a legend for yourself. Superb. A toast to you, and to victory over the Sabbat. And to Bach. May all his progeny meet such fates. Well, I only killed him because I had to. Although I won't lie, I... It felt satisfying. Now I'm off to do the same to the Sabbat. And for them, I won't even feel particularly guilty about it. As you said, they're animals. The Sabbat must be wiped out before dawn. Then, when you come back, we'll begin the hunt for the key. I see. If you'll excuse me, I'll just uh, trade a few words with Beckett before I go. Good evening, Beckett. You can always count on a Sabbat to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. They're reckless, but they don't normally try to attract this much attention. This carelessness warrants observation. I hope it doesn't become pandemic. The right thing for wrong reasons? What do you mean, exactly? The Sabbat's goal is to stop Gehenna, which is very similar to my own, though they choose to do so through more violent, fanatic, and flamboyant methods. The Camarilla, on the other hand, suspends belief entirely. Or so goes the party line. So... you do not consider yourself to be part of the Camarilla? What I am is kindred. How others choose to categorize themselves concerns me only where local customs are concerned. Individualism is a path fraught with obstacles and sometimes angry mobs. But for all its hardships, it is the only one worth taking. Well, I met with Dr. Johansson and he told me he told me some things that you might be interested in. What did Johansson have to say? He said that the sarcophagus is likely to um, house the mummy of Meserak, who was like an Assyrian king of great power. Assyrian origin. Glad to see I'm not losing my touch. As for Meserak, I'll have to research that name, see what I can find. Yeah, as I... He also said that the reliefs on the side were of a demoness called Lamas II, and supposedly he's like a source for the Lilith myth in the Bible, so it's kind of connected to the vampire lore. Lamas II? She was a Lilith figure. Yeah. They represent empowered women and the threat of such women to male-dominated society. Strange she would be engraved on a king's tomb. And also, he said that there was a key for the sarcophagus, like a separate piece, but he doesn't know where it is. It was stolen from the Dane even before the sarcophagus itself. The lock and key. An invention as ancient as greed, I should have guessed. All we have to do is find a victor in this nonsense. They'll be the one with the key. Well, that's everything I know. Does it mean anything to you? It seems to corroborate my own evidence. I'm going to have to study it a little more. Maybe dig up some information on Meserach and the Lamas II myth. 
I'm certain the key will show up in time. Your information is appreciated. You're welcome. Now, if you will excuse me, I have to prepare for my assault in the Sabbat. So, see you, Beckett. Now I'll just have a look. So I guess this is the Lamas too. And this is Meserach drinking the blood. Hmm, the other side is exactly the same. Okay. Damn it, I really hope Shank didn't die. Anything on the computers here? Oh, just a camera. Damn it. Okay, the prince uh, wanted the Sabbat exterminated before dawn, and for once, I kind of agree with him. We need to um, take the upper hand and use the element of surprise uh, against them while they are weakened by, the, by their assault on the tower. But still, I would like to visit the Chantry for just a moment and, you know, gather my thoughts. I will not go, go to sleep yet, I just rest a little, and then I will go out, go out on the streets to buy some... Ah, uh, right, this is the whole... To buy some additional ammo from Larry, before, because I'm pretty much spent, and I'm not about to go punching them with my bare fists. Anything in the mail? Any new emails? Oh, the White Bishop. Is it another one from the supposed friend? The White Bishop falls. Hmm, would that be... Would that be back possibly but it only makes sense if hmm. why don't I why don't I have the previous messages were they like self-destructing themselves or something because I wanted to check if Lacroix is the black king then, hmm, because I'm not sure if back even factors to all of this. Like previously, I thought the whole chess metaphor is supposed to um, supposed to represent the power struggles within the kindred society. So, but I didn't like. If it were, then who would the white bishop be? Like, as far as I know, Nines still isn't dead. He's still hiding. So, anything new on the TV? The records that ambushes villagers at night. New Delhi has also been host to the Monkey Man, the Bear Man, and the killer UFOs, all of which were later dismissed as mass hysteria. Weeks of protests against the European Union and rioting in several Eastern European countries has led to a block of nations yeah. dropping out of the EU. Causing I've heard it's getting quite... Detractors um, of the EU and its founding countries are holding rallies aimed to remove its biggest supporters from office, arguing that the EU's inclusion of less politically stable countries will cause extended economic recession. Several members of Congress are protesting the president's refusal to disclose details of meetings his staff had last year with the heads of several energy companies. They say measures agreed upon will increase air pollution and give large tax breaks to energy companies. An official statement issued by the president states that these meetings were meant to assist in the draft of a fairer energy bill that would cultivate enhanced pollutant tolerances and relax energy production risk burdens. Mobs of villagers in New Delhi, India. Yeah, that was a rerun. 
but I got uh, about those protests back in Europe. Uh, I've read in a paper lately that things aren't uh, very good back in Poland. I wonder if I will ever return back there. There is nothing waiting for me there, but now I guess there is a, well, there was nothing waiting for me, but I guess now there is a whole new society I never dealt with. I wonder, the Camarilla is probably very strong in uh, back in Europe. Mm, anything new on the radio? Still away? Something on your mind? Give me a call. 323 KLY KTRK. Ask to speak to them here. Oh, I think it's a new audition actually. Is the human race going crazy or is it just me? Seems like all you hear is bad news lately. Anybody feel the same way? Feel like the world's cracking at the seams? Why don't we make that the topic for today? And if that doesn't work, you all go back to calling in with the usual friends. Line five, you're on with the dead of night. So tell me, is society going to hell or not? I think so, Jeb. And why is that? Well, for one, I lost my job a month ago, and our management gave themselves a bonus for it. I'm sorry to hear it. Oh, the good old days. Ah, the good old days. Yeah, right? Why don't you hit the activity room and reminisce some more, Grandpa? Anyone have any musings that don't end up in the soul charges? Yeah, hi. Whoa, here's a rare event, a female perspective that isn't my own. Go ahead, sister. Some bad news in store for her, because I doubt anyone will see him again. He's unlikely to go back to acting with those brands all over his face. Something you want to add to this conversation? I see. Your rebuttal, mm. caller. Well, it actually could. Ooh, good point. You want some advice? Wash out the eyeliner, put on something that's not black, and go get a tan at the beach. Jeez, the Deb of Night show does not endorse the goth lifestyle, and take it from Deb. Pretending you're a vampire only impresses people with similar physical. Nipples on TV? Exactly. Nudity? Not too much nudity. Not enough nudity. Oh, make a that's an honest. interesting that's perspective. No, 
I think what would happen is I'd lose my appetite. And isn't obesity one of our nation's biggest problems? Another benefit of unity. And what about all that hullabaloo that people make when a person walks around the way Mother Nature made him on a brisk spring afternoon? Arrested for public indecency? Why, in a new world, it'd be commonplace. Folks would ask you, how many people did you expose yourself to today? As proud as I am of my girls, I think I'm going to limit them to private appearances. Next call. Oh, that's the conspiracy theory guy. Ah, Gomez. You know it's not a bad night when I've been looking forward to your call. Yeah, nothing could prepare the world for this. This is the biggest story in the history of humanity ever, ever, Dad. Though I found this out, I can't say, but I'm risking my life to tell the world this. Are you prepared for this? Sure. People of Los Angeles, vampires walk among us. Ugh, not vampires again. Interesting. Wait. Wait a minute. What the? What the hell? He's. How could he? How could he know of all, all of that? Man, what? That's a giant walking mas masquerade bridge. Folks, gather up your crosses, garlic, and neck braces. Oh, brother. Well, Deb's not undead, but the sun will be up soon, and she's dead tired. She's going home to get some harder. Well, and I don't. But don't worry, she'll be back same time. Same I don't think that guy has a high life expectancy anymore. Friends. But how did? Who could have screwed it up so much? People live and die. Man, he just straight up recited the events of her past few nights, starting from the warehouse. How could he? Man, there, there is uh, the prince is going to be furious when he hears about it. Hi. And the comic Well, who won't make it to Act Three? I'll the wrong month to cancel my life. Listen to the radio for a moment. Yet, then I'll go out to the streets, and hunt, go see Larry, buy some ammunition, and then go and deal with the Sabbath before the night is over. So. There is that. But for now, I do deserve a short break.